And what about St. Therese too? Because today we celebrate the feast. St. Therese of Lucia. We have three Theresas now. Three. One is from Avila, and Avila is in Spain. Second one is St. Therese, the little one, and she's from Lucia, from France. And the third one is coming from the country of this father, from Calcutta, from India. Sister Teresa of Calcutta, see, we have three now. But I would like to talk about St. Teresa of Lucia, our patron of this church, okay? When she was eight years old, uh, how old See, she was in your age, eight years old. She was already thinking about to join the convent to become a nun at this age. And you know, everybody was thinking, oh, this is a child, you know, today, doctor, tomorrow, the teacher, the next day will be a priest, who knows what. She never changed her mind. Even she wrote a letter to Paul because she wanted to join as soon as possible. And Paul answered her, if this is the will and plan of God, you will become a nun. And at the age of 14, one four, she joined the Covenant sisters and she became a nun. She lived in the Covenant for 10 years because she died at the age of 24. And what is the most important? Because we are thinking, okay, she became very popular, she became the patron of the mission, but she never left the convent. Because to become a nun for Carmelites, you have like a convent, you open the door inside, and you stay in this place to the end of your life. You never open the door again to see the world, that's it. You enter, it's like taking a rock, put it to the water, down. that's it. You know what happened? Uh, one very important thing happened in her life, because she was very young, very dedicated to work, to serve others, but also she loved so deep and strong God. She left a book, and in this book we can find directions which are called Little Way. And Little Way, if I would like to describe, will be very simple. Or sometimes mom is done for all day, or dad is done for all day, or dad is, you know, gone for a few days coming back. Children are more you know, like that. Running first and jump, and finally we have parents that come together. This is what children do. And this is the little way of St. Therese. She says, if you would like to become a saint, it's a very simple way. Just run to the open arms of God and let Him do it everything for you. Simple. It seems to be simple. Everything seems to be simple. But it is simple. Because if we give ourselves to God and we say, Good Lord, I am yours, you do whatever you decided to do for me. This is the little way of St. Teresa Museum. Mm -hmm.